What a precious name, the name of Jesus. Hebrews 11 and 6. Thanks for joining me. So the writer is saying here now, without faith, it is impossible to please him. It is impossible to please God. So you've got, that's what we call believers. We call believers because we believe God. Like Paul said, sirs, I believe God. And Jesus said, have faith in God. The greatest thing that we can do for our spiritual lives is to believe God. Now, what is faith? Faith simply means believing God and trusting in God, trusting in Him, regardless of the circumstances. And here the writer is saying, without faith, it is impossible to please Him. It is impossible. You cannot please God without faith. So, what are we trying to do today to please God? Believe Him, the Bible says. Believe Him. Whoever will draw near to God must believe that He exists. That's the first thing. We have to believe that God exists. I mean, that's where we start. We have to believe that He exists. There are some people who go into churches today and they don't even believe God exists. I don't know why they go to church. There's some people who are preaching in churches today. This is, I don't understand, abominable. They're even preaching, but yet they don't believe the Bible. And it goes even worse than that. There's some people who are using the Bible to disprove the Bible. <laughs> There's some people who, who I, I saw one person preaching about Paul and his writings, you know, talking about that. And he's trying to disprove who Paul was and, and what Paul is saying. I mean, if you're going to disprove the Bible, use something else. But don't preach from the Bible or talk about God and you don't believe in God. The Bible says, without faith, it is impossible to please him. We must believe God. You see, faith, beloved, is the currency of heaven. I said again, faith is the currency of heaven. And so we need to build our lives in faith, build our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ because it is the faith in God that will take us through the difficulties, the storms, the problems in life and with what's going on in the world today. God is looking for people who will continue to trust Him, who will continue to believe Him. It says, whoever would draw near to Him must believe, must believe. There's no other way, no other way. We must believe that He exists. And look at this. I love this other one. And that He rewards those who seek Him. The King James says, He rewards those who diligently seek Him. God not only sees us, but God rewards. God rewards, you know, and God is going to reward every single person on the earth. He's going to give us exactly what we deserve. In the kingdom of God, now I know we're, we're saved. Our sins are forgiven because we've trusted Jesus for our salvation. It's not based upon our works, our righteousness. And we will get into glory. We'll be in a new heaven and a new earth. But what about those people who have given their lives those who are being martyred for their faith pastors who were killed um christians who um they're diligent in service they're they're serving they're working they're showing up like for practice sessions or they're praying and they're fasting and they're, they're witnessing people who make sacrifices for god the bible says he rewards those who seek him and those who make sacrifices you know that's what i love about the lord he says they that seek me shall find me when they seek for me with their whole hearts. I know, you know, there are people who say, well, I don't know God and I can't find God. I know this for sure. I've seen it in my own life. When I wanted God and I was seeking after him and not after religion, I found him. I found Jesus. I found Jesus. And you can too. You can too. He exists. We must believe that he exists and he rewards those who seek him. I pray to the Lord, if there's someone listening to this, and they don't know you. They're not born again. They don't know you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, touch their lives. Open their hearts. Open their understanding that they know how real you are, how true you are, how good you are. Would you save them? Would you touch their lives? In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Do have a wonderful day.